Good evening and welcome. Good evening and welcome to tonight's live video on Facebook where tonight we're going to be discussing the 10 cal jellies. So it's the Hartley's 10 cal jellies. Now I know I've spoken about these before uh, but I wanted to talk about the new flavours that I found and also some alternatives that I found because jelly seems to have turned into big business. So at the start of the year in January, uh, Hartley's launched 10 cal jellies. So it's calories, it's jelly with 10 calories inside. Um, and initially they released raspberry flavor, strawberry flavor, orange flavor, peach flavor, you know, just the normal boring jellies that we were expecting. Then a couple of months ago, they released, oh, sorry, a couple of weeks ago, they released lemon cheesecake jelly. They also released black forest gatto jelly. Although these jellies sounded amazing, they were just a little bit too dreamy so uh, they did taste a little bit like uh, lemon and uh, for instance almonds was the flavor in the cheesecake but to be honest your expectations were zapped when you started tasting it and it wasn't like lemon cheesecake so what i'd like to recommend is a couple of other new flavors that i found in the shelves now this one is apple and watermelon so that's apple and watermelon and, and as i said at the time i found these ones that are just fruit based ones were much more tasty so that was apple and watermelon which i really liked and then my all-time favorite is this one and this is mango and passion fruit so that's mango and passion fruit and it is again the 10 calorie heartless now as always do be careful with any of these sorts of products although they're very low in calories they are made from artificial sweetener so they can give some side effects guys so for those of you who are trying to avoid artificial sweetener especially if you've got fibromyalgia uh, be really really careful uh, but if you're having one a, one a week two a week then it's fine as long as you're not having them every day um, so I would just like to recommend those. Now, when they were on offer, these were 50p. Uh, in Asda the other day, I saw that they'd gone up to 75p. Um, and they had the good thing about shopping in Asda for these things, where LD, they're off and on. Sometimes they're in, sometimes they're not in. In Asda, they've got these all the time. And in fact, in Asda, they actually had a whole aisle of jellies. I was there for about 35 minutes just checking out all the different jellies. I'm just showing you the jellies, uh, Vicky, because you've just joined us on the live video. So the other things I found there, so these were 75p. And then I also found... Asda have started to do their own one. This is called 10 cal. Asda's one is called 5 cal. <laughs> so it's a it's called a low calorie, and you can see that it's got five calories per serving in there. Uh, now these were a little bit cheaper, so these were down to 50p, um, and they do blackcurrant flavour, strawberry flavour, and also orange flavour. Now, as you know, uh, my avid viewers here on Facebook Live, I do like to do a live taste test. So what I'm gonna do, I haven't tried this blackcurrant one, so I've been saving this so we can share it together. Now, what I have found with these ones, uh, unlike these ones, because these ones are only filled like 90%, these are full right to the top. So the first thing that I've learned when opening these is just be really careful because they do kind of spill out everywhere. So what I've been doing is pulling it back a little bit and then sucking the juice. <laughs> I'm not sure you'd get away with doing that at work, everyone, but in the apps, live on Facebook, it's fine. Now, it actually didn't happen this time. Oh, there's a bit of juice coming. Wait there. Wait there. You just see that little bit of juice on the top. Oh, God. I spilt it down my pink top now. This is my new pink top. I've now got black currant juice down my pink top, everybody. Uh, Paulette, because they've got alcohol sugar in, I would recommend to 
to point these as one point. If you haven't got any points like me desperate, class it as zero. But officially I would class it as one point because that has got uh, artificial alcohol sweetener. Hartley's are packs of two, six for three pounds. Yes, that is correct, Kay. Six for three pounds. And I thought that was, I did think that wasn't much of a bargain. Then I realized that the Hartley's ones have gone up to 75p. Right, so we're now trying together, guys. Black currant jelly by Asda. And I must say, I actually prefer the flavour to this. Although the flavours are actually uh, a little bit more boring, I actually prefer the texture and the flavour of that. Because I did try the other two, the strawberry and the orange. I just wish there was a lemon. Because I really like that one. So that is the Asda own brand low calorie. They weren't 50p actually, I think they were 49 or 48. I think they're just great, especially in the evening when you want something that tastes sweet. I love making jelly. Oh yeah, of course. It's cheaper and you can have a lot more and it's much better texture when you do make jelly. Now, as I said, as they had this whole aisle just of jelly. So when I was going through, I also found there this. So for those of you who are price conscious, um, something that has really been shocking me on that programme on ITV on a Tuesday evening called Lose Weight, Save Money or Save Money, Lose Weight was this one. Um, and this is just the, so this is not the like super low calorie. This is the Asda Raspberry Jelly where you get six of these smaller parts. But if you'll notice, it says, no added sugar. Um, and you'll also notice in here, made with real fruit juice. Wow. Oh, Amanda's left a comment here. They look nicer than the Hartleys. Yes, Amanda, I think they do. The Asda ones actually look nice. But this is the real tip top, Amanda, because these contain actual fruit juice. And as you know, uh, when you are trying these sorts of products, that is the way to go. So these are 29 calories. And as I said earlier, uh, you should be classing uh, these sorts of products as one point, really. So I would actually class, I would actually have this smaller one that's got the real fruit juice in because, this is my last one, I've opened loads of these. For those of you who weren't here when I was opening the other one, I just said, just be careful when you open these because they're filled right to the top. And this is why I've got black currant juice down my new pink top. Need I say any more? I don't know how kids would get on at school with these. There'd be jelly juice everywhere. The floor would be so sticky. Um, so, have a little drink from you jelly first. So this is the raspberry one. And as I said, the, the thing that tastes this, makes this taste amazing, although they're coming out at 29 calories, we've got real fruit juice in. And because it's smaller, it's like going for quality instead of quantity. Imagine this with a few raspberries, a bit of zero point low, uh, no fat and natural yogurt. We're living the dream guys. We are living the dream, jelly, yogurt and ice cream. Jelly, yogurt and fruit was what I meant to say. So that's it guys, I'm enjoying my bank holiday. I'm gonna finish eating the rest of my jellies. I'm not sure how that was, it was at one pound something. So again, cost wise, taste wise, this is my winner. So it's the no added sugar, raspberry flavored jelly and these small pots with real fruit juice. Oh, Claire Jonas is watching live from Corfu. Hi Claire. Right guys, I'm gonna leave you now because I'm gonna finish my jelly uh, and enjoy my bank holiday. Um, thank you for joining me. For more of my videos, go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Bunting. Bye bye.